I had never been on a writing retreat before, but I was asked by um, Charlie Peacock, who produced my last record, if I would want to come on this writing retreat in Vermont um, to write with different writers and hang out and eat amazing food. And, and it was summertime in Vermont, it was beautiful. So um, we went out there and I was set up with you know three or four different writes. And, uh, and I got together one afternoon. We were outside um, with these two other guys, Andy Albert and Matt Menifee. We had gotten together outside in, in Vermont and it was just gorgeous outside. It was like 75 degrees. We were in the middle of nowhere, um, right next to this cabin. We were sitting on a bench and we all had our paper out. And uh, Matt had his banjo because he's a phenomenal banjo player. Me and Andy had guitars. And uh, and this, uh, I had had this idea for this song um, called "Letting You In," that um, that I didn't know exactly what to do with, and so I played it for him. Um, I just all I had was a couple lines. Letting you in, it's the hardest thing I ever did. That was kind of it, I think, at the time. And uh, and I remember we just we just kind of expanded on it and Andy came up with this idea of like of kind of personifying being stuck in a in a house and kind of closing off to a lot of people. Um, and for me it had always felt like this um, negative thing, but for him it was he turned it into like, hey man, let's let's make this a positive thing about how you did let someone in, um, because I did, um, and so we had we had kind of twisted it in that way. It's like, man, it was really hard for me to let people in, really hard, really hard, but you came along and and made it like and broke down the door, you know, that type of thing, and and uh, and I remember Charlie kind of coming by and and. Uh, and we had had most of the song done at the time, and Charlie came by, and um, we played it for him. And he goes, "You guys are show offs, man." <laughs> and, uh, and and but I mean that's just that's just how you know you get lucky sometimes. You don't, you don't always write great songs, but um, in that moment and with those people um, and in the scenery, it just it was a moment that. I don't think I'll ever forget, and I think that even those guys will never forget. Um, it just felt like a, we got done with it, and it just felt like a special song. And and uh, and and so when we were recording this rec this song, it, it, it felt really good, um, but there was something missing. And then we asked Chaos Rhodes to put strings on it, and so. Um, he kind of came in later and put some strings on it and it took on just this beautiful um i you know just sonic thing that that it was definitely missing you know you think like you can just play a song and and it feels okay but but uh when he put those strings on it it did it it took on a totally different life and and really made it fit with the record and so that's i don't know doesn't get any better than that on string. I love strings, so I was happy that we were able to put strings on there. Letting you.